Minecraft needs two things to be developed for it. A matrix-like pod that'll allow you to hook up and live inside of Minecraft 24-7 every day. And if that can't be developed, then a backpack for, you know, like in-game, like an in-game backpack. What, there's a add-on that I can do right now to give me a, a, a backpack in-game? Oh. Oh, great. Well, ha well, half of my wish has come true. We're gonna be taking a look at an add-on. That means that this is for the Bedrock edition of Minecraft. Sorry for those of you who are Java players. Get out of here! You have enough mods anyway. This is like, like Bedrock's version of mods. So, go install a mod. <laughs> this little add-on is made by Professor Magnums. Like num, like noms, nums. Anyway, and our Exxon. I have no. I'm butchering y'all's usernames. I'm sorry, but thank you for making this add-on. I've already gone through and followed the link in the description to download both the resource pack and the behavior pack for this to be added into my game. Beware of ads as you do this yourself. So we're just gonna go ahead and install these right now. Ooh, import started. I just love how simple it is on Bedrock. I will. Be honest, let's go ahead and open up this other one. Ooh la la, import started, and... Uh, successfully imported behaviors, behavior is perfect. So when you go ahead and make your world for this, you do need to make sure, and I'm just gonna backpack. Just there you go, fine, and put it in creative, because who wants to deal? Head on down here and make sure that use experimental gameplay is turned on. I'm also gonna just make sure that it's always day and the weather cycle is off. But then over here in resource packs and behavior packs, go ahead and choose them. So you choose activate, it'll move it up there. A lot of times the resource pack is kind of connected, so it's already added as well. So we are good to go. And we are in the world. Well, this is just, Re whoa uh, frames this is just root of minecraft to spawn you up on this giant tree Ooh. well luckily i'm in creative mode so we are going to now craft our backpack that way we can carry it around this is just a it's the first step obviously check this out there's a there's a, 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 a tower an, an illager watchtower you're going after them rabbits right there. Obviously, if you were playing with this installed on your world, either you would already have resources, or if this is a brand new world for you, you'd have to add resources and give resources, but because we are in creative, we're gonna give ourselves a crafting table, also some leather, and also, just because I know that I'm gonna need it eventually, oh, I keep closing out of my inventory, a chest multiple chests we'll give ourselves a whole bunch of chests and a trip wire hook or 64 just because that's what the creative menu gives me automatically go ahead and pop down crafting table and we can get rid of the sidebar here i'm just going to show you what the recipe is it's very very simple you're just going to take leather and you need eight pieces of leather to pull this off and you're going to make a donut a leather donut and that is going to make a backpack you can make a whole bunch of backpacks there you go. We'll, we'll make make seven of them. So that we had you know a stack of leather. So now we have eight backpacks. And there you go. In order to actually use this backpack, you'll just long click it onto the ground. And this has happened a few times when I've clicked it. Is that it adds it to your character. So it's on my back, my cape. It's kind of causing it some problems. But as you can see, as I move around, it is stuck onto me. I can even shift and I kind of shift through it a little bit. It's a little bit weird. In order to remove your backpack, because obviously there is no item like, how is it on me? Get it off me. Don't act like that. Everything will be fine. You have to shift and then jump. And if you keep holding down shift, you can kind of scoot away from the backpack. If you walk towards it, it'll be attached to you again. And also if you like jump and shift at the same time, it, you'll like lose it for a moment and then it'll like attach again. So I found the best way to do it is to hold down shift and then like sneak away. Like, whoa, backpack, don't you get back on me. You can click onto it and you can see the inventory of the backpack. Right now there is no inventory at all. And that is because we need to claim this backpack as ours. The way you do that is by feeding it a chest. And by feeding it, I just mean you just click on it with a chest. You'll see that the backpack loves you. And now when you open it up, it will have an inventory. So I can take these uh, chests right here. I'll make a fancy little pattern so you can tell that when I walk over this backpack, pick it up, and then move away. 
Then we're gonna jump and the backpack will hit the ground. We'll open it back up and you can see that the exact same inventory is still in the backpack. In other words, it works like a backpack. Now, I did mention that I claimed this backpack. Backpack, you are mine. And if you're on a multiplayer server, you can actually make sure that no one else accesses your backpack. So we're going, we have another backpack right here. I'm gonna drop it on the ground. By the way, now we have two backpacks, a little bit hard to keep track of. Maybe I should make sure to keep track of them, like I just said. So you can actually dye your backpack. So the red one is the one that I have already claimed, the green one I haven't. But you can see that you can dye and re-dye and even dye it back to brown if you wanted. So we're gonna have the green one as the one that I have not claimed yet because it doesn't have an inventory inside of it. So with that in mind, the green one I have not claimed. This red one, I'm going to go ahead and lock by throwing a tripwire hook into that slot right there. Now to me, nothing has changed because I can still open and close this backpack just, just fine. But over here, the one that I didn't claim, I'm gonna do the same thing. But because I haven't claimed it, I will not be able to reopen this backpack. So I'm spam clicking on this backpack and nothing is happening. This is just a way for me to show you that other players will have the same thing. They'll see a backpack, they can, pick up the backpack and move it around. That's kind of maybe a little bit of a flaw. And then they can drop it again, but they will not be able to actually access the inventory of this backpack if it has been claimed. So the way that this one I can open, they won't get that behavior. Now let's say you've had backpacks for a while and you, you're, you're overpopulated with backpacks. You just have like way too many backpacks now. And so how do you, how do you get rid of them? And we're gonna put this one on too. How, why are you not? There we go, okay, there we go. So now we have so many backpacks and we wanna get rid of them. Well, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is basically kill the backpack and it will drop whatever is inside. So right now we just got a chest and some tripwire hooks. This backpack, the red backpack, has a ton of chests and a tripwire hook. So if we attack it and kill it, there you go. You can see that it dropped a lot of chests and now our inventory is overflowing with chests but you could do the same thing with all these other backpacks. You do not get the resources that you put into making them back. So you do not get the backpack back and you don't get any of the leather that it costs to make that backpack back. I just find this a really, really, really nice add-on. I love that it actually like shows up on your back. I kind of need to get rid of my cape here to, to really appreciate the amazingness of this pink backpack. I love it. And that you have all the functionality of claiming and, and locking. And then of course you have an actual inventory that you can move things around in. I can put a backpack in a backpack. It's backpack suction. And then you just walk over it to pick it up and you are off. There you go, the fantastic data pack add-on. Of course, you can find a link to this in the description down below. I hope that you found this video enjoyable. If you did, please give this video a big old thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe for future videos, tips, tricks, tutorials, and spotlights here on OMG Craft. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Do you love A, OMG Craft, B, Chad, well, I mean, not like love, love, but like uh, platonic. Anyway, C, community, D, all of the above. Well, if you chose anything, there's a new way to show your support and to get some awesome perks. If you join as an OMG Craft member, not only will you be supporting the channel and all the content that it makes, but you'll get access to OMG Chad's survival Minecraft server. Java edition only, so if you're on a phone, tablet, console, or any other bedrock version, sorry y'all. You will also get access to loyalty badges and emotes, and if you support more, you'll get more. So check out the join button for more information. OMG Craft is selling merch. We have a gold foil t-shirt, ooh la la, and a t-shirt that mentions like a little thing that I like to say. So here we are inside of Minecraft. You can check out these pieces of merchandise in the description down below, and I'd really appreciate it if you got some.